Hello everyone and welcome. We are going to look at how to convert Swift films into HTML5. As you know, Flash is a dying animal and we need to all convert over to HTML5. Well, for some of you that have lots and lots of Flash assets like I do, hundreds of them, we need to find a nice way of doing this. Fortunately for us, we have Google and they are the masters of the universe now and they have also found a very nice and easy way to do this as well, a quick and easy conversion from Swift to HTML5. Now there are some drawbacks, but let's take a look at how to do it. It's really, really simple. So first what you do, I'm going to go ahead and find an asset that I like. Uh, one thing you have to be aware of, it will not work unless it is under uh, a certain size. I believe it's one megabyte. So let's go ahead and have a look at any of these Swifts here. I'm just going to grab one here. This is 940K, so that's good. About 10,000 Mayasaur fossils. And we're here we go. We're looking at it right now. There's a little flash asset. Paleontologists call this bone bit. All set. So go to Google. There you are. Type in Swiffy. Google Swiffy. There it is. And here it says up to one megabyte, right? There's also a, an extension that you can download that you can plug right into Flash itself. First, it asks you to click off whether you have the right to upload this material. Of course you do. So we're just going to go ahead and choose the file. I'm going to go find my file right now. There we go. Picked a different one, but it's basically the same one. Let's try a different one. That's a little bit too big. You can see that's 1.7, 1.1. Let's get for a nice, that's a nice one, 760. We're going to go for that one. All right. Upload and convert. And off we go. Make it a little more. That's it. Iguanodon fossils All are done. some of the first dinosaur bones. And you can see you have the flash up here, and, few bones and you have the HTML5 down Gideon here. And it looks Gideon. pretty darn good. You can see the difference here. These first fossils a little bit pixely. That is how it's also coming a little made. slower, but it seems Iguanodon. okay to me. This is what Mantel thought Iguanodon. Now here's what I like best about this. Along with the bones, you can a large download it here or scan the QR code. They so we're just going to download here, nose, save like link as. Iguana. But today we know that it was actually to the a desktop. used to defend itself. It there it is. Six inches long. And we're all set. I'm just going to double click on this now and have a little look. And here we have it right on the desktop. I'm double clicking on it to have a little look. And it's going to open in that top corner up here. And there we have it. Now you'll notice one thing that's very important. There's no audio, right? Audio does not convert with Swiffy, which is one of the drawbacks that I was talking about earlier. But still, you are able to format this within Dreamweaver if you want to. You can add a little bit of a margin to it. You can center it. If you open it in one of your uh, standard uh, HTML uh, programs, and center it a little bit and, and make it the way you want. But here it is, HTML5, and it's just a single file. You can see that it doesn't have any of the other stuff attached, and it works great. That's it. Easy as that.